Right, not only is it early morning, but apparently I've gotten sick. Now, that doesn't stop the party from happening, but player two has joined the game. <laughs> Whether she wants to or not, but I think, she, I think she's okay with wanting to. We're going off to Sunset GT to experience oh, what sounds like is going to be a pretty awesome car event in a pretty awesome car. And for those of you that know her, not the Challenger. That one's going to stay in the garage for today. We're taking the Diablo. <laughs> no. Oh my god, the handle's poopery. Ah. <laughs> I hate this. Hey, oh, there's some muscles. Cold. Sick. I'm in a Lamborghini. You gotta understand how horrible my life is. <laughs> hey, you let me know when you're ready. to attempt something to try and make this bouncy ride a little bit less bouncy so watch this I'm gonna put it in neutral turn the car off <laughs> turn it back on and we have a smoother suspension now call it highway speed <laughs> there much smoother the things that happen will grow up There he is. <laughs> this guy right here. Oh my god. And then that <laughs> happened. <laughs> At least he didn't get it on the seat. Yeah. At least he didn't get it on the seat. Okay. <laughs> see. No! Oh my god, Rob. No. Rob. Don't even try. No. <laughs> I'll start with this one for now. She <laughs> runs. Okay. Okay, you're about to see something kind of fancy. We're about to back up with the door up? Yep. <laughs> Good morning. Hello. Hey, let me get you. for just a second. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, well this is quite the sight to see, a bajillion Lamborghinis, uh, you can see the Countach here, of course the Huracans, the Gallardos, some Diablos, <laughs> there's one Diablo, let's check, let's check out my brother from the same mother, but a slightly older version of the Diablo, so let's check him out, but look at this, this is Sunset GT, this is right off of Sunset Boulevard, and uh, it's clear that you can see behind me, it's pretty nuts. Now, I, obviously I was chasing down like every other car spotter, I was chasing down the Countach because you can hear the similarities between the Diablo idling and the Countach idling. And of course both of them are notoriously unreliable at first, uh, but with mine I unfairly get the Audi touch. So check out all the other cars here and uh, let's see what sort of adventures we get into after this. Here I am obsessed with the old school Diablo. Now this looks like this looks like an early 90s Diablo, but the, one of the very first things you notice is the oh shit bar for the passenger seat. That's something that I'm, I miss, I wish I had, but I'm glad I don't. That's clearly a bar for the passenger to, to grab. <laughs> the crazy part is, look at the look at the vents. Look at the gas cap. Look at everything about this car. You cannot replace a fender headlights anything the bumper 
well, the side mirrors might work, but other than that, this car has like 95% non swappable parts to my car. It's completely a different car, which is mind blowing because it's the same exact car. So obviously the rear wing, but like look at this, the the rear vent, yeah, maybe the rear bumper works, but uh, definitely not the rear anything else. So if you have all the old ones, there is one of the newest ones. Well that's a unique sight. Please, please. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, no, he might do it. Oh, that's it. Okay, so we just adventured out from Sunset GT and then Brian took us to an overlook, overlooking the valley. So it literally is a valley. That's something that's kind of mind blowing to me. Sounds dumb, but the valley is a valley. Now we are, where are we? We are in the valley. We are, we're now, we've dove into the valley, the heart of darkness, to get food at somewhere called Aroma Cafe. God, can we go? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right, you should be good. Not good. Oh yeah. Not good. Muscles. Not good. <laughs> you gotta be nice to her. She doesn't like that. Yeah, I know. It's like dueling female. Yeah, it's my wife and my girlfriend meeting up. <laughs> trying to be nice to each other. And the usual stop at the gas station. Here we go. 14 gallons is a round trip for an hour with LA traffic and then another 30 minute drive. That's how many 14 gallons $54 gets with this thirsty car. One, two, three. No. Three, two, one. No. <laughs> my excuse is that Erica was in the car, so I didn't want to go 100%. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> that was my excuse, though. She was like, no, go for it. It's uh, kind of difficult to drive and film at the same time, but as you can imagine, if we're here, we got here because of Angeles Crest Road. So this is a pretty scenic, pretty uh, iconic place. And uh, Erica's hanging in there. You know, it's, it's kind of crazy because I drive softer than she can handle. Like, I, I won't drive the car 100% when, when I've got passenger in the car, but she's like, no, 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 you got this. So I'm trying to use her as an excuse to say why I'm not driving a full hearth all throttle, but uh, nope, she's a little bit more hardcore than I am. So Eric and I are supposed to film a romantic video explaining that we've secretly been dating for uh, quite some time now. But the problem is, is that Erica chose to do that when we're hungry. Yum. Best way is to, oh, not that one, yeah. Okay. I will murder you. Yum. <laughs> no. What the fuck? And with that. We're just hangry. Yes, exactly. So there might be things said that uh, are <laughs> I'll probably regret later, but. All right, so I elected to get salad bar, and look at this. That evil person is looking at my food. She did not get salad bar. You see there's no salad bar plate over there? Let's see if it stays this way. Did I just eat your baby? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> she literally got a baby onion ring for herself on my plate, and I ate it without even thinking. So rude. Oh, that's illegal. That is illegal. <laughs> Okay, uh, we just finished eating. I am in physical pain. 
Sizzler is not what I thought it was. It's more like a Ruby Tuesday with weird combination of meat com combos, but <laughs> I think I'm gonna survive. Well, as many of you have guessed, uh, we've known each other for quite a while, uh, longer than you've been on like Alejandro's videos or anything like that. So, <laughs> so, so this isn't something that, yeah, this isn't a, a fresh or, or secretly brand new thing. This has been going on for quite a while. It's and, been about three and a half years. Yeah, and what's for me, uh, what's important is that, as you guys know, you tend to uh, scrutinize uh, relationships. So it's it's been better to start this this way than uh, any other way in public. But that said. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's been it's been a pretty cool experience and a handful of you figured it out Which was kind of funny. You saw me looking pretty desperate So a lot of you didn't figure it out and thought that I was just totally being uh, a loser Which uh, I guess is probably why it made it easy for you to assume that the exciting part for me is that you're gonna see some more content with both of us uh, Coming up real soon. It's kind of fun the adventures you see we see at least being filmed and now we finally get to put them out to the public